In today's gospel, our Lord works a rather unique miracle for he goes out to see the apostles who are being cast about on the stormy sea and immediately upon the apostles' desire to take him into the boat, the, the boat is transported miraculously to the shores of their destination. And so it is this, and so in today's gospel, we are being instructed to have complete faith and confidence in the invisible presence of our Lord in his church. For it says the apostles wanted to take him into the boat, but it was not necessary, for the boat symbolized the bark of Peter, that is, Holy Mother Church, and the Lord has already and the Lord was already dwelling within her. And so it is that when each and every soul accepts the Lord according to the teachings of the church, then the Lord comes to that soul and great miracles can be worked because as our Lord said, miracles are the reward for faith. And so he works this tremendous miracle today because after the resurrection, the faith of the apostles is constantly growing. They are constantly deepening their faith. And so there will be great miracles worked within the mystical body of Christ until the end of time. But in order for this to transpire, we must know that the Lord can do all things. And ultimately, in today's gospel, what is being symbolized is that while we are cast about by the storms, that is, the trials and the tribulations of this life, if we are in the bark of Peter, we are safe because Christ is with us and Christ alone can do all things. And so if he is with us, we truly have nothing to fear. And if we believe that in the depths of our heart, then at the end of our lives, the bo then we will be cast up upon the shores of eternity. For the Lord alone can deliver that which he has promised. And he who cannot be deceived nor who can deceive has promised that those who follow follow him faithfully will be rewarded with eternal life. And so we are instructed in today's gospel to have that deep faith, that deep and profound confidence that Jesus Christ truly is in charge of his, uh, in charge of his ship, that is, Holy Mother Church, and no matter how much the winds and the trials and tribulations and the persecutions of this earth assail the bark of Peter, it is ultimately unassailable, and it alone, amongst all the ships in this world, it alone will, 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 will attain that final destiny for which it was brought into existence, that is, to take all souls who faithfully reside in the bosom of Holy Mother Church and strive to serve the Lord, to take them from the trials and tribulations of this life in order that they may attain the shores of eternal life. And so let us go forward with that confidence, that confidence that would be first manifested to the mystical body through the preaching, the teaching, and the miracles that were wrought by the apostles and which continues on through history in the life of the church through the lives of the saints. And so let us take them and strive to imitate them in all things for ultimately they manifest to us the presence of Christ in the world for ultimately they receive all that they do that is all that redoubts to the glory of God they receive from God himself and it is from Holy Mother Church that the Lord wishes to distribute to each and every soul all those graces, great graces necessary to attain holiness in this life and eternal happiness in the life to come.